first, let me say this. No one wins a gang war today. There has never been, nor will there ever be a winner of a gang war. We know this for a fact. As a matter of fact, there are only losers in a gang war. First and foremost, those loved ones, those homies, those friends, those family members who've lost their lives senselessly from gang violence. Now that's speaking about those gang members who've lost their lives. Let us, let us consider first and foremost the innocent lives that are lost. The innocent bystanders who get caught in crossfire and the children who lose their lives senselessly over gang wars that persist. All for pride and arrogance and for a reputation of infamy and notoriety. No one wins in a gang war when lives are lost. The taking of a life is a life loss and a loss to the community as a whole. And then we suffer the, life, the loss of our liberty. We suffer such profound losses that impact us to the later years in our lives should we live long enough to make it out of it. Many of us have. Many of us from many generations have gone through it, been shot, been shot at, have shot and, and, and shot at, you know, been in and out of prison. And we all know what it's worth in the end. And everybody who's lived through all that is thankful for the day that we have now, today, having come through all of that having shed that violent nature ourselves and finding peace with ourselves first. Nobody wins in a gang war. It's just pure senseless violence that is repeated for generation after generation. And it's gone from generations past where they fought and used sticks and chains and knives to the point where we're using military grade arms to settle our, our differences. When it's, when it's brown on brown violence, black on black violence, white on white violence, et cetera, et cetera. When the statistics prove that we're killing ourselves there are those racial divisions that exist and there are those, those gang wars that exist based on those racial identities. But it's still as senseless as any other. It still makes no sense because nobody's gonna win. You take the life of an enemy, you stand to lose your life in return. First, at the hands of the state, and or by those very people. At some point it has to stop, especially when there are many generations now, some going back to the origins of these gangs who are still around, who no longer gang bang, who are great grandfathers, grandfathers, fathers, and we're grateful, we're thankful to our creator, whomever he may be, that we have this day, that we have our life, our liberty, that we're in a position to speak to the youth, peace and unity. When there are still those who insist on trying to gain a reputation as we did before them when we're telling them to stop. When will it stop? It will stop when we stop it ourselves. 
when we come to the realization as many of us have having gone through it for so long that there's no winners in this. We're the ones who suffer the greatest ourselves individually for these mistakes that we make. We've made mistakes that have cost lives. And now you got all of these people, you know, of all these generations who in their in their in their greatness in great fullness want to want peace for everybody want the violence to stop want the homicides and genocide to stop because we're killing our own kind we're killing off our future and we have no one to blame but ourselves Why try to gain a reputation for for throwing your life away? What glory is there in that? What honor is there in that? And the sacrifice that we all know who've been through it, that you end up in prison, you're going to end up losing everything you have. Over time, you'll lose family, you'll lose friends. The first to go is, is, is the love of your life. If you have a lady and children, those are the first to get sacrificed. Now, deadbeat dads gangbang if you have children. How, how, how worthless is one who is not there for their children, who rather put others above their own children? Now, let's be honest about these things because these are, these are the mistakes that we're making. This is what we're sacrificing. We're sacrificing the future, our own. I speak to unity amongst all because I realize how senseless it all it, it all is for us to be throwing our lives away and committing genocide. We owe it to ourselves to seek what is best for us and for our for our children, for our posterity's sake. Our children deserve better than what we are demonstrating to them. We. The youth that are still active and going out there and won't, won't find peace for themselves are doing so because we did it first. And there was those who did it before myself and those who did it before them. But at some point it has to stop. At some point we have to, we have to awaken and realize that it's a dead end street, two outcomes, death, prison. And we all know that for a fact. And I'm here to let everyone know that we all deserve better. We all deserve the opportunity to live our best lives free from the violence, the senseless violence that plagues our communities. Our children deserve to walk safely to and fro without any fear of any crimes being perpetrated against them because we are the protectors of the future. And let us not forget that. There's a greater cause in all of this and it's to save ourselves because we owe it to ourselves. So my prayer for all is peace.